everyone, so this is actually a shirt tutorial that I'm going to be showing you guys, and it's something that I've been seeing around Pinterest and Tumblr. So the first thing you'll be needing is a black or gray plain shirt. This is actually a shirt I've had lying around collecting dust, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. You'll also be needing bleach. This is actually two, but I'll be using just one. I cannot give you back your homes or restore your dead to life, but perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. Don't forget, you'll also need Q-tips, an X-Acto knife, a clipboard, don't forget to turn it over, and yes, that is the tree from my first video, which my sisters apparently drew in with red ink. And iron, which will definitely come in handy later. Lastly, you'll be needing freezer paper, not wax paper, freezer paper. Now you don't have to do this step, um, I actually took printer paper and I'm tracing it over the wax paper. It's not necessary, but I thought it would be pretty clean looking. So what I've done here is I've actually printed out an outline of a wolf and I'm putting my freezer paper over so that I can trace it. Next you'll be using your handy dandy X-Acto knife and you'll start cutting small triangles. Um, they don't have to be perfect but try to make them as straight and as angled as possible. This is probably one of the most time-consuming steps out of the whole project. If you want to go ahead and use text, you can. Just remember to trace it and cut it out. So I actually lost my clipboard in the process of filming this video and I couldn't find it so I'm just going to go ahead and use a old sketchbook. You have to put this under the shirt so that it doesn't seep through. So this is what the outline of your character or your design is going to look like. Um, place it onto your shirt so that it's right in the middle. Take your iron and pat down on the stencil. Don't smooth it out because that will cut out some of the design and it might ruin it, so just remember to pat on it like I'm doing here. I cannot give you back your homes or restore your dead to life, but perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. I ended up putting my bleach on the same cap of the bottle 
and I'm using a paper towel to tap on some of the excess bleach because if you start putting it on the triangles it will seep through. Your q-tip basically has to be super dry if not totally dry. Once it's dried out, remember to remove the freezer paper carefully. And you repeat the same process on the text. So this is pretty much what it's going to look like once you've washed it. Thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.